Hi, I'm Jason Bellamy coming to you from Charlotte and the next conference and I'm joined by Jim Gordon who just finished delivering the 45th Macmillan lecture. Congratulations first of all. Thank you very much. So um, the title was of greatness as a goal and you really, um, you know, you were very challenging in it. You, you talked about the, the need to achieve greatness or not. Basically kind of there is no other alternative. Um, it, there's too much to encapsulate in it in a few minutes, but I want to focus on a few things. One of the things is you talked about how DPT students graduating today have so much more knowledge and expertise than, say, 40 years ago. You said, quote, it's almost like a different profession. Um, on the other hand, you said there's a blind spot. What is that blind spot? Well, I think the, the success, there's been so much success, uh, uh, you know, of the current DPTs and they, they, that they uh, have an assumption that the research that's producing that uh, expertise that they are you know, learning about in school is just going to keep coming, that there is sort of it just comes out of a well, I said, or a spigot. Mm -hmm. um, but in fact, that's not the case. That continued uh, research, clinical research that's going to produce better treatments is not inevitable. That in fact, it depends on us building a strong academic foundation for our profession. We have an academic pr foundation, but what I tried to show is it's still in a fragile, uh, you know, early development state. And that if we don't uh, take care of it, nurture it, and build it, that we could lose that foundation and the the research that builds our profession would go away. And so there are many elements to this reform or, or possible reform that you talked about. Um, but one of the things you talked about was was faculty size. And you said, you know, it, it takes a village. And sort of gone are the days when a small faculty could have these almost guru PTs that could impart all necessary knowledge. And so what's sort of your vision for how, how these programs must operate in the future? Well, I think, you know, in many respects, you have to imagine that a physical therapy program is like a small medical school, that it has to have uh, a, a, a set of faculty who represent all of the branches of physical therapy. We, we for example, wouldn't, couldn't imagine that we would go to a doctor and say, well, how many faculty did you have in your medical school? And he would say, well, we have six faculty. We had one surgeon, one medicine, one officer. You couldn't imagine that. Right. So it's the same thing with physical therapy. We have to have physical therapy programs that have a large faculty with the breadth of expertise. You know, not just one orthopedic faculty member, but orthopedic uh, faculty members who are experts in spine, in, in shoulder, in hip, in knee. These are all specialized areas, and we need to have that kind of expertise. In neurology, there are different areas in cardiopulmonary. So we need to have a, a f programs that have this breadth of expertise. We cannot have programs in which somebody, in which people are teaching way outside of their ex areas of expertise. So you called for, for many people to get involved in this reform. You know, there, there are many elements of it. You called on APTA, you called on people to support the foundation, you called on CAPTI and, and working um, better with CAPTI and not seeing them as an adversary, for example, within the education setting. One of the other groups you highlighted was ACAPT, and ACAPT is relatively new within physical therapy. So let's use this as an opportunity for people who don't know what is ACAPT and then how can ACAPT help this process? So uh, ACAPT is a, is a a very new kind of organization within the APTA. And it, what makes ACAPT unique is that it, the membership of ACAPT is not individual physical therapists, it's institutions. It's the actual physical therapy programs. So ACAPT is the organization of all of the individual physical therapy education programs. And each of those programs gets to send one representative, has one representative, and it has a board and all of that. And ACAPT is, its mission is to, is to promote excellence in academic physical therapy. Not just education, but in all aspects of academic physical therapy, which also includes research, scholarship, clinical practice. So again, you challenged, uh, you know, big thinking, uh, not sort of setting the bar low, and that's what the McMillan Lecture is all about. So let me ask this, is there any in, this, in all this problem solving, which you admitted is not a simple problem to solve, and it may take generations, you said, is there any low-hanging fruit in this? Is there anything that you look at and say, this would be a great first step? Well, I think the, the, the first step is that we have to 
take a look at, we have to, what I said, stop the bleeding. Mm -hmm. That is to say, we need to make sure that we're not making matters worse by allowing small programs to continue to be added to our profession, and these programs simply do not have the resources to provide the kind of education that doctors of physical therapy need. And uh, we've had a, a, a major proliferation of new programs, and we, and we need to raise the bar and ensure, I don't, I have nothing, there's nothing against new programs, but we have to require that new programs, that the institutions that start those new programs provide uh, a strong investment in that program so it's not, go, so that it is gonna include research and clinical practice, not just uh, teachers and students. Next is all about looking to the future and uh, never more so than in the McMillan Lecture. Um, if you did not see the McMillan Lecture because you were not here, it is one of the offerings that's available on demand through the virtual Next Conference, um, which you can register, register for af after the fact as an on-demand offering if you want to see the McMillan Lecture in, its, in full. Jim Gordon, congratulations and thank you very much. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate it. For more updates like this, you can go to the Next website. I'm Jason Bellamy. Talk to you later.